Hi, Madeline. Oh, hi. Yes. Yeah. So today we are having a, a special treat. We're making polenta with vegetable ragu. And this is the corn grains, which uh, we will wow, grind. Wow, this is the corn kernels. Yeah. Organic. Yeah, of course. Organic, non -GMO. Organic kitchen. And here we have the grinder mm -hmm. again. All right, that's our little grinder from and we, Europe. Um, we put about like half of this container. We highly recommend this little grinder if you have a chance. It's great for corn, spelt, quinoa, rice. You can make flour. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, here it goes. Wow, this is a real stone grinder. Um, a mill which makes uh, fresh um, flour for baking or like in this case polenta and here this is the rosemary from our garden which um, will go into the polenta and cook with the corn so that's rosemary is really good yeah it's it's really yeah. the taste and the etherical oils will um, get into the corn so here we have that beautiful mm -hmm. the coarsest setting you had in yeah all. yeah okay slowly get this into the water is just simmering hmm? yeah can you turn it off a little bit and then whisking it in whisking it in so it doesn't clump so if you don't have a mill, then you can um, just buy the corn. So now we leave this like this and probably I do it like this. And now I have a whole array of vegetables for our vegetable ragu and um, I start with with the, this pan which has a little bit of water first the carrots some you can put it any shape you like and and then uh, you can uh, cut the onions we have a nice purple onion we're painting our meals Mm, and we make um, not too fine but not too coarse the different vegetables and then we have some cabbage mm -hmm. and this we cut like this So here we are again, and I'm just cutting some dinosaur tail. Mm, looks and beautiful. This this looks like this. I added the zucchinis, yes. so it has carrots, um, purple onions, zucchini, and then we will add the kale. And the kale doesn't need a lot of cooking, so it's nice and green and turn it up and it's all cooked without salt or oil we will add this at the end so and then i would like to explain a little bit about um, the addition of the herbs when this is all soft and finished cooking then uh, we will add all kinds of uh, spices, salt, a little coconut oil and all that and then we, we have already ready from the garden, fresh from the garden, 
some herbs and this will be mm -hmm. kind of Italian style polenta. So what are Gives these herbs it away. on the here? Yes, so we have um, different, we have some thyme, we have some uh, yerba buena, a bone and kraut we call this. I think that's the right name in English. And then we have marjoram and, and uh, we have a little bit of mm -hmm. lavender and for really nice taste it's mm -hmm. good to uh, put some peppermint. This is orange peppermint. And then at the end we will uh, cut these, uh, these onions fine and put it over as a garniture. As a, uh, making it beautiful and I would highly recommend that you grow some herbs because it adds so much to your kitchen to the food and it gives all these flavors and it's a really a high-powered food herbs it's real superfood I mean kale is superfood blueberries but herbs without herbs it's half a kitchen <laughs> so you don't need a garden you can have a, a big planter and just um, get some little plants in the nursery and uh, have a, an array maybe of six or eight different herbs the most important ones and then you can just go with your scissors mm -hmm. and, and cut little branches or click them off. And then they grow back again. Yeah, and they grow back and it's just so beautiful. So here we have, I think, everything just nice and soft. Yeah. So, and um, it's really beautiful. It's, um, now it smells amazingly. Yeah. It's, um, I let it roast a little bit, one can see in the pan. With these pans you can do that. That's, it adds a special flavor. So now we can uh, turn off. Yeah, turn off. This, and we will cover it once more. Everything is turned off. The corn is ready and now we'll uh, go and get these herbs a little finer. And then add these into the pan. Never um, cook herbs except if you like to have a special flavor in something. Spices are good to cook with if you like. It's a choice, and um, I cook the rosemary. We have tons of rosemary in our garden, and uh, I can just take baths in rosemary if I want to. We have so many, and this smells uh, well. <laughs> this is absolutely. Yeah, we need a, a camera that can detect smells yes. as well as images. So now we mm. we will not cover anymore. And here we have a uh, coconut um, oil. Coconut oil. Yeah. So we will uh, put a little bit, not too much, just just a little bit, and this will just really melt in the mix. We still don't put it around the uh, herbs; still leave them on top. Now we'll. Um, Put a little bit of Himalayan salt and the uh, cayenne, a little bit, not too much, and some black pepper. <coughs> and now we'll just do a little. So, and we have a beautiful plate ready to put in the corn. 
Wow, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks so good. Yeah. Okay, and now? And so now, um, oh. this is the vegan cheese. Some yeast. I go pretty generously and cover. Nutritional yeast. And then we can... And then the ragu. Maybe stir it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now it's... And it smells so yeah, good. Yeah, it really smells oh. good. And just put a little bit of oil to make it glossy. It's so what we're doing is now this vegetable ragu go mm -hmm. over. Yeah. Beautiful. It's just very colorful. Vegan food is the most colorful food. <laughs> it's so colorful. Mm -hmm. The eye eats with your oh, taste. That's amazing. So, and Then we put a little more pepper. So now we're creative. Just go wild with that meal. Um, and cayenne, we have enough, but some paprika. Paprika. And this now, this is soy sauce. Show you, or tamari, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's tamari soy sauce. And then come the little guys here. It sounds so fun. Mm -hmm. So Chris, I have to look at the knife while it's cutting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and Will loves a lot of um, spring onions, we call it. Mm -hmm. And so we put a lot on. Mm -hmm. And it tastes really good. So one has a miniature salad on top with the herbs and and everything. So look at this, how we change. Wow. Yes. There we go. Beautiful. So there it is. And then we put a little of the crisp There's rosemary. A rosemary branch from a, yeah. we have like 20 rosemary bushes. Yeah, <laughs> and we always try some. Mm -hmm. And then you can just, if you like to accentuate some of the vegetables, you can. Just. All right, so this is it. Bon appétit, make it soon so you don't forget how it goes. And till next time. Looks delicious. Bye.